Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today you may recognize my slightly altered video background. But now it's going to change a lot because I'm going to, I just finished building more of these pink shelves. So I'm going to set them up now. They're going to be on top of this antique piece of very lovely furniture and I bought it specifically to put these on but now that I'm looking at it again those legs look a little spindly so uh, we're gonna see if this works out This is where I'm getting all these books from. There, back in there. There's also some on the stand I'm using to for the camera, <laughs> and uh, where else? Scattered around my floor, basically. charge my camera battery and put a bill on my hair. Uh, but my neighbor is playing with his boat right now, so that's the sound you're hearing. So let's get back to the speed setting up.
take a look. So over here we have uh, a cup. <laughs> um, what's it called? Avengers poster. This is some art by a friend of mine named Holly. Uh, I'll link you to her website below. This is by an internet artist I really like called uh, Focus called Jenna White. That's her website there. I love her stuff so much. Uh, there's uh, Captain Marvel. Over here we have Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and she's on top of my calendar because right now my calendar is a painter of light painting of a Mickey Mouse scene and when it comes to the month when it'll be a uh, Beauty and the Beast painting of his, you can be sure she'll be coming down so I can look at that. There's a piece of my art I did. Pretty Coleman mirror from, uh, which is a gift from my cousin. This is just a little doodads holder in the shape of a dragon. Some bottles. Both of those are from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is a East Asian drapery thing I found in an antique store. Here we have Monstrology, Dragonology, Wizardology, the Hyrule Historia, and a uh, fairy book, which is very similar in that it's like a reference book type thing. Uh, these three shelves, these three shelves were set up um, previously, and you've seen them in my background, and they're all books that I have read before, almost all of them, and so I'm going to tell you about those ones in a uh, bookshelf tour later on, but the rest of these are just ones that I thought were pretty, <sighs> or that I got in hauls and needed to arrange, so I'm going to quickly take you through why I put them in various places right now. Here we have some, <laughs> this I decided would be the pastel colored shelf because uh, I needed a place to put my little Dan and Phil thingies and they're in their pastel gear. The little flowers came off when we had them washed after the fire. And in here we've got a lot of children's books, so like Fire in the Full Moon, some Disney fairy things, and Fairy Realm, and Rent to the Rescue. And these two are all children's books. Then there's Love and the Headscarf, which I've reviewed. Cat in the Kermagen, which I've talked about in various tags. This is a very pretty edition of Anne of Green Gables. And I think I've talked about Ellen Enchanted, and I have talked about Rune of the Rescue. I don't think I've talked about His Princess. That's a devotional. This I, uh, was, I guess, the first one that I started arranging, because I found a bunch of really pretty green books, so I decided this would be the green and brown shelf. So we got some brown here and a lot of green, so it's like a foresty sort of thing. And I have read this one, and this one, and this one, and that's it. Oh, I've read quite a few from in here, because this is a collection of short stories. But I've got the rest to get to at some point. This is one I'm very excited about. This one I was originally thinking would be a black, white, black, white, every other thing, and use some of these books mixed with these books. But then I decided that it looked better with a bunch of the dark ones, which was like dark brown and orange, black, navy, more black and yellow, some yellow here, black and yellow. And then I just stuck this in at the last minute. <laughs> I'm glad it seems to have worked out. And then I stuck my little bitty wood panda in there because he's red and black or orange and black. And he's very cute. Red pandas are my favorite animal and I got him at the zoo uh, in Portland when I went there about a week ago. And then we have this, which I decided to be the mostly white shelf, white with a bit of yellow in, with these two. These two are a series, uh, two, the first two books of a trilogy. This is part of a very long series, but it's the only book I own, so I can arrange it by color, because I would never separate the parts of a series <laughs> just to put them by color. That offends me. <laughs> Uh, then we have The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, which I've talked about a lot. I love it so much. This one is from a haul I did recently, and I have not gotten around to it yet. Uh, War of the Worlds I've not read yet, or Emperor of Thorns. And then these ones, I read these two a really long time ago. Uh, and I don't really remember how they went, except that I didn't like them that much. They might have just been too dark for me at the time. I was pretty young. But the covers are really pretty, and we owned them before the fire. <laughs> So I got them again. Um, and then I told you about these two. They're part of the Dragonology Chronicles, which is connected to this book here. 
which is an old favorite of mine. And then this is a journal I recently got. It's really pretty. And I think it's really good that it goes like red, blue, purple, red, blue, purple. I like that a lot. So, uh, oh, last one. These are a bunch of Max Lucado books because I love Max Lucado's books. They are Christian stories for kids with gorgeous illustrations that you can see on the cover here. Uh, and they meant a lot to me when I was a kid, so... Uh, and we owned a lot of copies, so I bought them again after the fire. <sighs> after the fire. And this lady is from Hobby Lobby, because she's great. And this one is a little box I rescued from the fire, because it has... Oops, can I open it one hand? <clears throat> oh, no! It has all my tickets in it, as well as a little porcelain dish that's in it. Oh, and this is a, um, snow globe from... Seaside, Oregon, from a carousel mall there, because I love carousels and I collect snow globes. So that is my setup for my books in my room. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!